all fun and games till someone gets shot. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we have some crazy news to talk about. This is not a April Fool's joke. I did that already on the channel. Today we have real true news. You guys know over the past year or so I've been saying that E3 2022 is where Tekken 8 would be announced. If it's offline or online it doesn't matter. Tekken 8 and I also threw Mortal Kombat in there and kind of Street Fighter 6, but also I think Street Fighter 6 can do its own thing. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, but the whole year, that's what I've been repeating in many, many videos. But the thing about that, E3 was never actually confirmed. It was it was like, we knew they weren't going to do a physical event. We, we already knew that, you know, they, they said it before. And there was still hopes of them doing a, you know, digital, a live stream where, you know, people, you know, kind of like a, a, a online version of E3. They did it already, I believe in 2020 and again in 2021. Um, and I was saying that is that increases the chance of Tekken 8 being announced. The fact that Harada and Michael Murray wouldn't have to get on the plane, you know, go through all borders and customs and, you know, COVID checks and things like that and fly all the way to LA, I, I was saying that would make it easier for them to, you know, announce it. They could live stream, they could pre-record, they can do whatever to get their message out. But we just had some crazy news. Um, E3 is canceled fully. What I thought was interesting too, I have two comments back to back on my past videos. One is a video from like a month ago. The title of that, Michael Murray's tweet hints at Tekken 8 reveal happening at E3 2022. And in that video, I was talking about a tweet. I talked about it many times. This is the final time I'm going to talk about it. He said, he said the past times we announced new video games was at E3 and a tweet is not how they would do it. And basically he was referring to two things. One, the community was believing that, you know, they were teasing some stuff on Twitter and he was like, no, 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 this is not Tekken 8. This is not Tekken Tag Tournament 3. This is something totally unrelated. And also in the past, Tekken 7 was initially uh, announced at E3 2016. Michael Murray and Harada both got up there on the stage and they showed Heiachi and Akuma fighting and everyone went wild, right? The first comment says E3 just officially canceled both physically and digitally now what i kind of like that comment at the end it's like a little bit spicy it's like you were wrong now what are you going to say the next one this is a video that i did uh yesterday that one was about uh some elden ring mods and stuff and harada was tweeting and saying stop and he was like also explaining things that was a really good video go check it out if you haven't seen it the comment on that one it looks like e3 got canceled this year when do you think they're going to announce Tekken 8 now? In the past video that I did like two, three weeks ago, I laid out many different events where Tekken 8 could be announced and also Mortal Kombat 12 and Street Fighter 6. Throughout this video, I'm going to be saying Tekken 8, but just know that I also mean those ones unless I specifically say otherwise. So in the past video, two, three weeks ago, I was talking about where our games will be revealed and i laid out many different events the first one that i was talking about i spent the majority of the video on was e3 i, I think well i thought that could be the real contender but it's now canceled the next one in there was evo and the reason why i i was talking about evo is because the community was talking about evo everyone was hyper focused on tekken 8 being there and i was just talking about is that realistic or is it not and the thing about evo I don't think this is where Tekken 8 will be officially announced, like the first reveal, the first look, but I do think we could get maybe a second trailer at EVO, maybe a story trailer, a gameplay trailer, a character trailer. We could get some sort of, because when these companies do these, um, when they're marketing for a game, they don't just do one trailer and then the game comes out. They do many different trailers. So we possibly could get something at EVO. I just think, Waiting all the way till EVO is too long. They will have to do something before then. And then the final 
thing that I was talking about when it comes to Tekken and Mortal Kombat is the Summer Games Fest. We did not know when that was taking place. We knew it was sometime this year, but uh, they did not put a concrete date, so we couldn't really tell if it was going to be before EVO or after EVO. Now, yesterday we got some news. I was going to do the video yesterday, but I wanted to give the, the upload some space. From IGN, it says E3 2022 digital and physical has officially been canceled. After previously canceling its in-person E3 2022 event, the ESA has now informed its partners that there will be no digital event equivalent this year either, meaning E3 2022 has fully been canceled. Now, it's interesting. No physical, no digital. They came back later to do a update. They gave a, uh, a statement. Update March 31st, 3.53 p.m. ET. ESA claims E3 2023 return. In official statement, the ESA confirmed that E3 2022 is officially canceled. The ESA is now looking ahead to next year. Today, we announced that there will also be no digital E3 showcase in 2022. The ESA said in a statement, instead, we will devote our energy and resources to delivering a revitalized physical and digital E3 experience next summer. Whether enjoyed from the showroom floor or your favorite devices, the 2023 showcase will bring the community, media, and industry back together in an all new format and interactive experience. Now, let's just say in a hypothetical, this would be a very crazy hypothetical, but if Tekken 8 and you know Street Fighter Mortal Kombat didn't get announced this year, we have E3 2023 to look forward to if they do not get announced, but I, I don't think so. Um, that's, it's not likely, right? There was a tweet that was being attached to a lot of these uh, news articles. I don't know who Whale Powers from New York City is, but it says, just got an email, it's official. E3 Digital is official canceled for 2022. A lot of mixed feelings about this. 6,315 likes on that tweet. Now, the two comments asked me, what now? When? do I think Tekken 8 will be revealed? And I think the answer has been given to us. The same time E3 was fully canceled, digital and physical, Jeff Keighley tweeted out a winking emoji. 11.31 a.m. March 31st, 2022. 12,000 likes on this. Now, this is huge because the tweet that followed up this uh, Jeff Keighley uh, emoji is from Summer Games Fest 2022. Join us this June for Summer Games Fest, an industry-wide celebration of video games featuring a spectacular live kickoff show hosted by Jeff Keighley. Sign up at summergamesfest.com to be the first to know details. Now, what's really interesting about this, one, it was done the same day within the hour E3 canceled right after that Summer Games Fest announced itself. Then what you have to look at is the month of June. June is usually when E3 takes place. June 4th to the 7th, if I'm not wrong, I think 5th to the 7th, but June is usually E3's big moment. And Summer Games Fest is swooping in and taking that spot. I don't know if they'll do the same thing next year. If they do, that's going to be a battle of the Titans, but 2022, they're doing it. And I think all of our focus should be shifted to this because I think it was choreographed. I think it was uh, planned, right? E3 tilts his hat and steps back. Summer Games Fest, they walk forward and they say, we're gonna take its place. So if I had to say where Tekken 8 would be, um, like I did in the video, I laid out three options. E3, Summer Games Fest, Evo. E3 is now gone. I say Summer Games Fest is the next greatest thing, especially that it takes place in June. I don't know if this is going to be digital or physical, but either way, um, I think Harada and Michael Murray can definitely make it to this event. And also, when you talk about Summer Games Fest, yes, it's kind of a new event. I think it's going to be its third or fourth year uh, going, um, but it's massive. It's gaining more and more attraction and attention every single time it does it. And it's really given E3 a run for its money. And I think the fact that there will be no E3 this year really, really is Summer Games Fest moment to shine. I'm putting all my bets 
on Summer Games Fest. That's where we're going to get Tekken 8 and possibly Mortal Kombat 12. The thing about Mortal Kombat 12, it depends on when they started working on it. We know they were, you know, probably doing story and stuff like that, but they stopped Mortal Kombat 11 less than a year ago. And depending on how much they had done at the time and how much they have done now will we'll dictate whether or not we get a trailer. If they aren't prepared, I think they will skip this June event. And in 2023, that's when we'll see something from them. Uh, that's just my guess because they were the last to stop. Tekken stopped before them. Street Fighter V stopped before them. Mortal Kombat 12, uh, 11 was last, right? Talking about Street Fighter 6, I don't know if Street Fighter 6 will be here. They did say in their official reveal trailer or their teaser trailer, they said more information coming summer. That can mean three things. Summer Games Fest, Evo, or I think they can still do a, a another um, Capcom summer event. I can't remember what they call it. I'll put a screenshot up so you guys can see it, but they, they still have those three options. Tekken 8 has its two options, Evo or Summer Games Fest, and Immortal Kombat has its two options as well. But that's just my thought. Um, Michael Murray and Harada, they haven't said anything. If and when they do finally say something, I will definitely be all over it. And if you guys find out something before me, feel free to comment. That will motivate and encourage me to get out a video uh, sooner, right? But that's it. That's all I really want to talk about. Big news. I know I didn't do it the day of. I want to wait on purpose, but I still think this is very important. And it's going to, this next generation is going to be crazy. Street Fighter 6 and what they're doing with the graphics. Mortal Kombat 12, what they're doing with the story, the leaks and rumors we're getting, the characters that's been leaked. Tekken 8, even though there's no like concrete information there, it's just like with Tekken 7 being the most successful Tekken 7, the Tekken game ever, how are they going to follow that up? So much anticipation, so much. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like, the closer we get to it, the more like, nervous because I don't want to say it but if one of these games suck whichever community it is is going to be hissed but that's it that's all I really have to say um, that's my thoughts on E3 being cancelled and where Tekken 8 Mortal Kombat 12 and Street Fighter 6 will show up thanks for watching check out some of my other content my other videos if also if I mention E3 in another video just ignore that I have a lot of things planned and scheduled already a lot of videos that are made already and i can't really remember what i said when i said so if i say something just ignore it right but that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time Bye.